And so from the political scene, Northern Youth under the auspices of Arewa Concerned Civil Society Organizations of Nigeria, with over 45 reputable civil society groups, have reaffirmed its position, earlier position on power shift to the South in 2023. The group whose voting capacity cuts across all the polling units, wards, and local government areas in the 19 Northern States and the Federal Capital Territory insisted that for fairness, equity, and justice, the South should produce the next president. Our correspondent, Habila Darufai, filed in this report presented from our studios. Northern youth are calling on Nigerians to support a Southern who have supported other regions to enjoy power over the years. Speaking at a world conference at Arewa House in Kaduna, the spokesperson of the group, Abdul Salam Muhammad Kazim, says... Since the return of democracy in 1999, power has been rotated between the South, West, and North. Kazim says the aim is to zone the presidency to the South in the spirit of unity, fairness, and equity to the nation and to sustain a political friendship with people of the Southern Nigeria. Just in one point and insist on power to be transferred to southern part of the country in the year 2023. And we call on all our southern people to drive this opportunity and support their own, also respect power rotation after eight years. The fact that we are here agitating that power should be shifted to the southern part of the country does not mean we don't have people in other regions that are capable or competent of producing the president, vice president, speaker, and other positions. But because of fairness, we want this to be done. They call on all political parties to zone their presidential candidate to the South, adding that any Northerner contesting as president will be regarded as an agent of disunity and an enemy of the nation. The presidency of Nigeria is about to leave Northern Nigeria. Of what benefit is this presidency to Northern Nigeria in the last six years? Rather, we are witness to wanton destruction of life and property. We are witness to cattle hustling kidnapping, senseless insecurity up and down. So the presidency should shift to other regions and let them equally test the power of the number one seat. We have to respect our integration, brotherhood and unity. The coordinator northwest of Disciples of Jagaban, Senator Sani Saleh, says power shift is a good thing the call for power shift to the southwest and the identification of a single individual with all the requisite qualities that is required to transform this particular country this particular country of ours with all the uh, peculiar challenges that we have we need somebody like asiwaju to solve the problem for us please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates